Okay, it's Tesla time again, and we have this vacuum tube coil. And I just picked up these really lovely resistors today. Well, resistor. And I've made a few modifications. I put a choke in the anode. I've slightly decreased the uh, tank capacitor. Still using the coaxial design. But now we have two rather large capacitors and also um, I'm now using a full wave doubler so um, to minimize ripple but um, we're still using the same transformer arrangement giving about 1400 volts and uh, yeah at the moment I've got a small breakout point so let's see some spark shall we Oh yeah, just some details. I might not have shown it uh, the, earlier, but basically here's some uh, details on the filament transformer and uh, tube TY4400. So let's crank up the juice. See what kind of... I notice that the yark is a lot more smoother. very easy to see. Give it some more welly. See if I can get in the black there. Okay, and let's have a look at the actual discharge itself. So really I think we got that's melting the screwdriver, so I think I'll turn that off. The interesting thing is, if I move this close to the coil, there's quite a delay. So I'm just going to briefly turn the variac up, and it's now down to zero. You see how it slowly goes down? That's the DC reservoir slowly discharging. But uh, nevertheless, let's just make sure that we're. It's all dead. Yep, and uh, I just normally poke that in there just to make sure it's completely, completely dead. That's the earthing strap. Anyway, hope you enjoyed.